Daisy's Lug Life. I'm May and I'm doing another video of just brand new colors that Lug has introduced somewhat recently that originally I think they had just on Lug Live that they are now sort of officially put up on the Lug Life website. So now we can really get a chance to look at the like studio photos as opposed to grainy uh, Lug Live videos. Uh, so I always prefer looking at this way because you can really see I think maybe the the color is a little better and you know you're not distracted by all the background stuff and uh and, and just the quality of the photos are just so much nicer so it's, just, it's a lot more pleasant to look at on the website so now i have not been watching the lug live set, uh, shows at all so i don't know if how long these colors have been out for uh or how long they've been out on lug live uh but i'm looking at them here for the first time in some cases completely other cases for the first time like really looking at them because sometimes what I'll do is I'll watch the Lug Live shows just long enough to see what's on sale. I'll read through the colors but I won't see the colors like I won't actually stop and watch for when that particular product comes out uh, so I don't actually necessarily see the hosts you know pulling it out. So today in this particular video I'm going to look at the Peekaboo Convertible Crossbody Bag which has been out for a while but brand new colors today and then same with the Seesaw that one has been I guess out of stock for a long time uh, and then they brought back again they brought it back again with brand new colors I'm also gonna quickly look at the runner the two-piece tote bag runner um, which I do have a few of and I'm actually I have all of these I have the peekaboo I have the seesaw and I have some runners but I, I don't have these new colors so let's just take a quick look at the brand new colors so the peekaboo convertible crossbody bag uh, it looks like they're all new colors every single one of them um, I guess they've gotten rid of the old one um, and I've also noticed that the new one comes with the strap. So the, when they originally sort of released this way, way, way back, and I feel like they released it with, with the Switch bag, it only came with the wristlet strap and it did not come with the crossbody strap. Uh, and then they re-released this bag, uh, I want to say a year ago, uh, and then they released it with the crossbody strap because I think the other one people were like, well... You don't have a crossbody strap that matches. Uh, and they were sort of piecing it together with other ones that they had, which in some ways is good because it, it brings the cost down, um, which I actually kind of prefer, to be perfectly frank, because um, if I really wanted to crossbody it, I do have a lot of crossbody bags that I can definitely borrow a strap from um, and throw it onto a peekaboo. So I preferred getting it less expensive. Uh, I didn't want to, you know, I prefer to spend a little bit less and then buy a separate strap if I don't have one or use one of the ones I already have rather than have to pay for a whole new strap. So especially since for me, I tend to get the same colors over and over again. So uh, I definitely have black straps. <laughs> so, you know, I, I would have been fine if I didn't have this particular one come with the strap. But that being said, whole bunch of new colors here so maybe a strap is necessary so that's the midnight black which I have and why does that swatch look so funny uh it looks blue right there on that screen there um okay so I do have this particular one actually no maybe I don't because I have the older one Ooh. okay you know what I don't uh this one has um that in sorry what's it called oh my goodness what's it called oh my god the fern abstract fern that's what it's called now hang on it's no, no, okay. This just looked like, it looked like it was like north-south versus east-west. It just looked like it was a whole lot taller than it was wide. Um, so I, I just thought maybe they had changed the orientation as well, and I didn't notice. Um, okay, so she's wearing that east-west, but the zipper, sorry, north-south, but the zipper is still going east-west. Okay, that scared me for a second. I thought maybe they actually completely reinvented this bag, and I just didn't notice. Um, okay, pretty sure Whimsy Black is new. Um, I actually kind of like that in this particular bag. Uh, sky blue, definitely, definitely new. And it's got the, yep, the floral multi, sorry, the bright floral interior. Uh, oh, I thought that was going to be Kelly Green. I was just about to say Kelly Green. That is Pines Ornament Teal. Um, so very seasonal, very sort of festive. So that's a fun little Christmas bag if you're, if you need a little bag for Christmas. Um, metallic pearl. I wonder what the interior... Again, it's that fern. I don't know. I'm still not sold on the fern. I'm just going to see what the interior of this one is. Okay. Still not sold on the fern. I think it's... I like it in some cases, but in other cases I find it's just too much and it's too dark. Um, oh! Okay. So they put the interior print on the outside. So the Love Stripe Black is now on the outside. What's the interior? Cute. Okay. I like it. Okay. Um, and then the... Oh, that's cute! You know, I kind of like it in that. That's fun. 
that's actually a lot of fun. Not probably something I'll get, but I do like that. Um, with that, with the rainbow stitch on the outside. Ugh, that just annoys me. <laughs> that interior really annoys me. Ugh. And I know I'm not the only one. I just don't know what they were thinking when they did this. Because that color doesn't exist on the outside. Not really. Anyway, whatever. Okay, Flourish Blue. All the flourishes. So there's two new flourishes I'm still not sure about. Um, I, for some reason, this particular color and print reminds me of stuff that, how do I put this, kind of scare me a little bit and it, bring me, it brings back sort of anxiety from when I was a kid. So two things. One, it reminds me of the old Avon bags. For those of you who remember what Avon was uh, back in like, I don't even know when it started, like for sure the 70s and 80s, like when I was a kid, Avon ladies were a thing. And uh, if you are old enough to know what that is, you'll know what I'm talking about, but they used to carry a blue bag. It wasn't like this. I know it was a different color and it was, it had like greens and yellows and stuff and it was a different color blue, but for some freaky reason, and I don't know why, when I saw this color, I was immediately taken back to the Avon bag and I don't know why. Um, anyway, that being said, it also reminds me of Wedgwood <laughs> and I have sort of memories of being screamed at every time I saw a Wedwood anything in someone's house. When I was a kid, I would go to people's houses and, you know, everyone had china cabinets when I was a kid and they always had, you know, like the Royal Daltons and the Wedgwood and the fine china, whatever it is. And if I was even caught anywhere like within 20 feet of the china cabinet, I got screamed at. And it wasn't because I was a bad kid. Like I was a good kid. If you told me not to touch something, I didn't touch it. If you told me to sit still, I sat still. Uh, I would never run around the house. I didn't scream and yell and cry. I never had tantrums. So I don't know why it is. I think it was just because children being around delicate things, you just got yelled at. And this is back in the day when kids got yelled at a lot. <laughs> so I have just feelings of like of nervousness and anxiety whenever I think about things like uh, like Avon and Wedgwood because again if the Avon lady came and they always came um, they had their stuff on the table but you couldn't touch it <laughs> um, they were Tupperware and all that stuff that came out when I was a kid uh, like the adults would have it but I was never allowed to go near it um, anyway so that's just I just have this anxiety I guess from being a kid being told not to touch stuff um, okay so uh, now, I have seen the inside of this particular print, and I gotta tell you, I love it. It's the uh, Dragonfly Multi, which is one of my absolute favorite prints of all time, and I love, love, love this interior for this bag. I think it's the perfect match, the perfect color, the perfect sort of, you know, whimsy on the inside. So the inside could sell me on this bag. It's possible I might warm up to this print one day simply because that interior print. Just saying. Okay, so... We'll see about that one. And then now there's a Flourish Red, which I haven't seen. I like the print on paper, but I don't know what this red is. I still, I want to know, I need them to tell me what the hell this red is. <laughs> because red from Lug can be anything. When I say red, it can be orangey. It can be pinky. It can be bluey. It can be bright red. It can be a darker, more muted red. And it never tells you. And you don't know until you finally see it in person in front of you. Um, and I cannot tell what this is. I can't tell if this is going to be a bright red or if this is going to be like a rosewood red. So anyway, we'll see. Um, I guess I'll have to see this one in person, but let's look at the interior. <gasps> is that dragonfly? It is. Okay. So there's a dragonfly red. <sighs> I'm not sure. I think it's a little, I think it's a little bit angry looking. <laughs> I think they're angry dragonflies, but I still kind of love dragonflies. I have a bunch of dragonfly things and I feel like this, again, I, I might might fall for this one more as time goes on simply because it's got dragonflies so we'll see okay so that is that uh let's move on to uh have i done the seesaws yet <laughs> i can't remember did i do the seesaws <laughs> oh my gosh i feel like no i haven't done the seesaws i think i looked at the seesaws okay hang on Okay, let's just go through them because if I have done these already, I feel like this is like deja vu. I have, I'm having a deja vu. And if it's deja vu because I've already done these colors, 
I'll just go through them really quickly. Okay, so I love the seesaws. I love this, this product. I will buy these as long as they keep coming out with new ones. Um, so, okay, so there's that Flourish Red. There's the Flourish Blue. There's Metallic Pearl. I don't think I've done this yet. Uh, <laughs> I just feel like, I, I said like a dream? I don't know, I'm having a deja vu here. Um, and then Metallic Walnut. Paws Navy. Is that an older color? I don't remember. I feel like maybe they had this before. I don't remember if this is an older one or not. Uh, Whimsy Black, I think is is new as well. I think they've had them in the Whimsy Copper, but not in the Whimsy Black. I know the Buffalo Check Red and the Camo Rose are older. Um, I actually have that Buffalo Check Red. Um, I love these. We'll definitely get these again when they go on a good price. Now, I actually think those flourishes, like that flourish blue, I might get. That looks fine. <laughs> I think I can tolerate that, that amount of print and that color without freaking out. Um, but I feel like, yeah, the other ones, I think it's just too much. But I might get these ones. Okay, uh, where are we? One more. Yes, the runner. That's my cat sneezing. <laughs> um, the runner two-piece tote bag. I love these bags. I think they're really handy. They're just really overpriced uh, for what they are. $75 is ludicrous for basically a really high quality shopping bag. Um, they are really nice and really well made, but $75 for two is outrageous. I don't know why they sell them as a two. Why don't they make them cheaper and sell them as a one? I don't know. I think like if they were $30 each, uh, you know, $32 each, and then I could buy as many as I want, I think it'd be better. I don't know why I'm stuck with two every single time I buy this. Anyways, this is brand new. So the Mabel's Cream is definitely new and I love it and I will definitely get it when it goes on sale. Um, Metallic Pearl, I, I can totally see people getting it. Um, and it's got the contemporary, no, Abstract Fern. I am never gonna get that fern name right. Um, ooh, Multi Dots Navy, very cute. Uh, if you're into that print, I can totally see that as being something that you would want. And I also see this as making the cutest birthday present bag. Just saying. Okay. Um, oh, okay. That's a teal. That's the ornaments teal. That's a fun thing to have. Again, if you were just carrying stuff around for Christmas, that'd be cute. Um, Snowman has been, sorry, Snowflake has been around before. This is new. Definitely, definitely. And it's got that fun interior. Love it. Um, and these are all old. All the rest of them are old. So there we go. So that's it. Um, yeah, uh, I definitely will be getting these if the price comes down. Uh, and I definitely want that Maple's Cream. And I feel like now that I've seen the Maple's Cream in this, I am really hoping it comes out in the Rover XL. If it comes out in the Rover XL, I will 100% be buying it. Um, because I love that bag so much. I think that would be a, so much, that'd be so much fun to carry around in the fall. Um, okay. That's it for the new colors in the older styles. Uh, there's another video coming out with one, one more video of newer colors in older styles. Uh, and then, uh, we'll see. So, uh, let me know if you got any of those, what you think of all these new colors. What do you think of the flourishes? I'm very curious to, think what you, to hear what you have to say. Um, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.